Trust me, the last thing you want to do is stream your videos from the hosting server. The reason you don't want to do this is because when you stream a video, it's going to cause a server load. And when that happens, your website is going to load slower. So even if you have great CPU resources, that's still going to affect speeds for the rest of the users who are trying to visit your website. So the best workaround for this is to store your videos somewhere else. In this case, I'm going to show you a really affordable option, which is BunnyNet. I mean, these guys have an affordable option with a great video player that's going to be super good to use. Now, let me go ahead and show you what you can expect and how much it's going to cost you approximately. OK, so BunnyNet link provided in the description. Let's go ahead and jump down here and you can see here that from traditional cloud providers, it's going to be more expensive than using BunnyStream. Now, encoding is going to be free. Storage is going to be 0.01 cent per gigabyte and CDN from 0.005 gigabytes. The reason that is from storage and CDN is because you can store this in different locations around the world to serve it even faster. OK, now let me give you a quick calculation. So I've said here 100 gigabytes of video sites, monthly traffic, 50 gigabytes and the replication points is the sections that this is going to be stored. So, for example, London, Frankfurt, Los Angeles, etc. That would be three points. And that will cost you around four dollars on the standard tier and two dollars and 75 cents on the volume tier, which is really affordable. And like I said, you want to stream this from the streaming provider and not from your hosting provider. Now, let me go ahead and show you how this actually works on BunnyNet. But before we do that, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. So if you plan to grab a hosting plan right now is the best time since you're going to grab the lowest price due to the Black Friday sale. Now, the best plan I would recommend to get started is the business plan, which is a shared hosting plan that starts from two dollars and seventy five cents a month. You're going to get the option to install up to 50 websites, 50 gigabytes of NVMe storage. Take, for example, the storage. You don't want to take up storage with video streaming. You want to take that somewhere else. And that is BunnyNet. Five mailboxes. You get a free domain. You get the AI system that Hostinger includes, and that's in this price. So let's go ahead and choose this plan because I'm going to show you how to apply the coupon code. Now, the first thing you need to do here on Hostinger is select the amount of months you want to lock in the price. I recommend 48 months because you're going to lock in the lowest price and the lowest renewal price. Now, this is the current pricing, but if you click on half a coupon code and type it in or paste it in, the price is going to drop to $118.80. That's for four years paid off for the Black Friday sale. So take advantage of the sale and my coupon code. All right. So let's jump into Bunny. All right. Now, in this case, I already have a video here that I can easily customize and modify. All I have to do is upload a video from my computer and I can start streaming it by sharing a link or by embedding it on my website. The idea is to surf the video from Bunny and not from my my hosting provider. OK, so let's get started with the player settings. You can customize the player settings with colors, sizes, playback or not allow playback, not allow to move it. And it's up to you what you want to set up here. So you got your player UI, select the language, font family, primary player color, caption appearance, player controls. So what do you want to allow or not? So can they select captions or not? Can they go full screen or not? The progress, the mute settings and everything can be customized right here even the playback speed. So if you know, for example, that the video is going to sound really bad on 0.50, then you can turn that off or X4 or X2.0, etc. Just leave the options that you think are the best suited for you. OK, once you're good to go, save the settings. Now, there's more settings available here, but I want to show you how this is going to apply once you embed it on the website. So I'm going to use this video that I uploaded. I can add my details just like you would, for example, on YouTube. You got a title. You got your meta description here. You got your video asset links. You can set a thumbnail. You can select one from the video or you can upload one. You got your caption settings, chapters, moments and statistics for this particular video. Now, to add this to a website, super easy. Now, you have the embed options here. Do you want it to be responsive? Do you want to autoplay preload? You want it to loop or be muted? I don't want it to autoplay, so I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to grab my code now. In any website they use, in this case, I'm using WordPress, but this could be any website that allows HTML code. You can add it inside of here. So in this case, let me go ahead and add a really quick post here. And I'm going to add this video player inside of this website. Let's use the default builder. Let me go ahead and add HTML block in this case. Let me add my code from Bunny. 
let's go ahead and test this out by previewing in a new tab and the video is not going to load from my hosting provider now you can see here it just loaded really quickly hit play there's a lifetime deal that just came so even if my hosting provider is super slow the, the video is going to load really fast because it's going to load from bunny or if i got it i got a good hosting provider it's still going to load really fast because this is going to be taken care of by the streaming hosting provider not your website hosting provider now i have settings to set up the volume i can mute this i got my settings right here playback speed the quality the sizing if i want to send it over there to the bottom if i want to make it big etc and this is loading from the website now you can see here it already loaded half of the video almost half and that means it's going to save me money because it's not going to load the whole video if someone doesn't stream it so it does a buffer download so it doesn't take up a lot of your resources on bunny so it's a really great option to stream your videos straight from bunny instead of using your hosting provider if i would have loaded that video it'll take up my storage it's going to take up my resources and it's going to make my website load slower maybe i got a hundred thousand visits a day and people are clicking on the video that's going to be really intensive on my hosting provider now to set up one of these storages here on bunny you saw how this works but to set one up just go to stream go to add a video library set the name right here you can enable the beta player which is going to be better and then set the geo replication so where do you want this storage to be located from that means that the video is going to be served faster if it's closer to where someone is going to view it so you can select as many as you want and you got the pricing right here so if i turn this off you can see here 0 0.005 per gigabyte so you can turn all these on or turn the ones that you need if it's going to be just in europe go, go ahead and set those up there and if it's going to be worldwide then you want to set all them up but it's up to you so this would cost me 0 0.055 cents or 0 0.05 cents for each gigabyte of storage used so that's really affordable if you ask me especially if you're doing for example 1080p videos those are really light i mean you don't need a lot of gigabytes to store a bunch of videos so it's great for an lms that you are doing just stream your videos straight from here so there you go that is the bunny stream option here i definitely recommend that you check them out link provided in the description and if you plan to grab a hosting plan don't forget to use my coupon code and that's a wrap